Oh. <laughs> I'm back, baby. Suppose it's time for our revenge. Hmm. I mean, I have a training in 200 swords. I still prefer. Singular ones. This is just the whole arsenal. I lost it. I feel like I'm in the blade and sorcery now. Too much, <laughs> like away. <laughs> Nothing else, it's just that conclusion. This is actually the first time I went outside of my way to explore <laughs> something more, but. I'm not sure if there's anything else. Here we go. Oh, 
and live my dual reading fantasy. It's creepy. Ew. I literally hold my hand with a finger. <laughs> Bye bye, Bone Lab. I can technically still climb it. Though maybe I won't risk it. Oof. Okay, well, it's taking too long. Look, folks, this stainless steel signature edition blade will cut through anything, but it's not going to stick around long at the nice price of $19.99, so call in right now and get cutting. Hey, there you are, finally. Hey, mind giving her a push? <laughs> All right, good job. Hop on in. We got to be somewhere. What do you mean? <laughs> Just go. <laughs> We have to sit or something? All right, all right. You are listening to 98.6 WCCK Dead FM Road Warrior Edition. And this is Jay with my new pal on board. Now, pal here was causing a lot of trouble over in Fantasyland. Good thing I showed up though, right? Now we're headed into the city, but as you regulars out there know, we can't just drive there. We're going to need a little bit of help from an old classic. It's time for Don't Fence Me In. What? Oh, <laughs> credits, okay. Well, I knew this campaign would be like short or something like that. Technically, you make it how long you want it because each area has so much to do. Like, I not speedrun, but I went kind of in a linear pathway to get to the goal. But like, you make out of it whatever you want and that's what I like all about it. It's not a perfect game, but it's not something you can fix because it's just deep into the engine that usually works well, but when it doesn't, 
you can see this clearly and overall I enjoyed myself it was quite a challenge at first but when you get actually into the groove and discover all the mechanics then it's fine like it's not that big of a deal you're on your own from here on out pal I'm not allowed any closer it's a long story but hey welcome home everything's possible for lava game I'm assuming it's about the mods and sandbox at this point. Ooh, I got another caller. I gotta run. Start building. So pretty much we have unlocked stuff to enjoy the game further. I get the metaphor overall about the building and just, you know, being creative, the metaverse, whatever. The question is, will we do mods? Um, We'll see, I mean, I know the mechanics already and how to just be around here. We'll see how it's gonna go, like, I'm mostly curious about the game altogether as a campaign and in a playthrough setting rather than some modifications. But if there's gonna be something really interesting for me, then we might try it out in the future. But that's it from me for Bone Lab. It was great, even though I thought I would like push myself further maybe with the dynamics and stuff like that. But then again, the trailer was made and few gameplay clips with a use of professionals. But I handled myself okay, I guess. <laughs>